Morning everyone and uh, welcome back to Everyday With Me Nick. Uh, today is a good one for me and a good one for the sawmill. Uh, that's where we're at today. Um, we've got uh, a box, <laughs> a box to go on the sawmill. You may be thinking, a box? Why would you want to put a box on the sawmill? It's what's in the box that counts. I have got, I have ordered something that I wish would have come as an optional extra. Hey, shush! As an optional extra on the Frontier series of sawmills, I, uh, I've ordered a DRO, uh, Digital Readout, uh, Linear Digital Scale, basically. Well, I'll show what it is. If, if you know, you know. Um, basically, this is going to give me a digital readout of how high I am. That's, that's exactly what I'm after. The scale that comes with the... Um, the frontier sawmill it's neither good nor, nor bad it's it's not exactly what I, I'd like to work to consistently anyway there's a there's a blue line here that's about two or three mil you know if you're either side of wherever you can be it's six mil tolerant you know six mil difference if you're wanting to put some consistent boards out you ain't, you just ain't gonna get it so um, <clears throat> By getting this, uh, putting this in place, I will be able to uh, consistently work to a, a numerical value. Um, so say for instance, I'm doing the uh, fence boards. Um, folks have been asking them for like 17 to 20 mil. That's generally what you're getting from the uh, from the shops. 20 mil, is, I would have think was accurate. So 20 mil minus, uh, plus two mil for the blade, it's 22 mil. You know what I mean? You can see that on a scale, on a digital readout. So that's what we're putting on. Uh, same thing, if I want an inch board, 25, plus two, 27. If I want uh, uh, four inch, um, it does an inch increments. It does inch decimal and inch fraction and, and mi uh, millimeters. So if you want to uh, do a four inch, which is 100 mil, you know, equivalent, 100 mil plus two mil, 102, four inch, four inch plus, a sixteenth, I think. <laughs> I'm not that great on uh, fractional uh, inches or even decimal for that point. Um, hey, did you see what I did there? Pardon the pun. Um, but yeah, that's that's what you do. Just add on your curve. This doesn't allow you, allow the the curve of the blade, which is which is fair because this is maybe is more used for um, DIY um, DIY. CNC machines, actual actual uh, shop bought CNC machines, and they want to put a you know a digital readout on it. So, dogs behave. So that's what we've got anyway. So behave. We get a little bag of hardware. Uh, that's gonna. Yeah, that's that's got some uh, some destructions which aren't very destructive. Which aren't very destructive. They just tell you what it does. Uh, and then the DRO itself. So yeah, basically we've got a, a rod that's magnetic, I believe, and the uh, scale is here, and it just slides up and down, down the rod. Uh, the digital readouts there, and I'll show you that more later on. So let me get something sorted out and I'll get you back on video and show you what's happening. All right, guys. Right, we've had a little think. We've had a little, well, I've had a little think. I've had a little play. I've seen where I think I can go. And this is what I'm doing now. Ah, the bloody good screws then. But then uh, self self drilling, self tapping screws. Bloody brilliant. So put that up here. I don't know if we'll get at it. I have to take that screw off, which is probably going to be very difficult to do once it's on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm. Yeah, but it seems like this company, Walco, I mean, I hope it works, but it seems like the hardware that they've sent isn't... Um, something missing. Right, let's see how it uh, if it works. So that's the unit. Uh, it's getting colder. That's the unit. I text two. What the hell? I just thought they'd give me spares. <laughs> there you go. That's that's how it is. Set. I like it. So this is magnetic. So we're going to uh, route this somewhere to our convenience, which I think. from there so Right, I think we've fathomed it out and uh, I will show you guys what I've done. So, like I said, sorry for the wind, if, if you can hear this in the background, you probably can't, it's blowing again. Um, the front here offers quite a wide um, platform to uh, fit the scale on, so that's quite good. So here's the scale um, mounted, I've got it mounted on the, um, the I guess the winch head and the the base uh, the the body of the the bl blade tension in and everything um i put two holes there initially but they're in the wrong place so we had to move them um where are we at now so i've put it back in place that's there that's all tightened up uh i found out that if we put that other bracket on you can see there it just slightly kicks it out to a side which is ideal and uh, there it is so you can see that's it fully lowered off i mean it's you know 0.1 of a millimeter inaccuracy so i'm not bothered about that so now we can just winch and get our get our size in 
that we require so it also allows me to uh, go right up as far as we are allowed and I've still got still got plenty of room uh, still got plenty of room there <laughs> you can see now that it's slightly on a wonk I'll put that in with a <laughs> with a spirit level it, it clearly hasn't made any difference so hmm some it must be slightly off you can see it's slightly lent over but anyway we'll get past that it works it works and that's it. it's 455 um above so shouldn't be milling much more than that uh that's absolute i don't know what what's going on now actually so that's that that must be so now if i wanted to come down 20 mil from there i just come down I don't know why I've said 20 mil, but uh, you know, I ain't gonna split airs with this either. We're just gonna work it 20.15 mil. Fuck, you know, that's all right. Uh, so yeah, I'm pleased we've got that scale on now. That di digital readout. That's definitely gonna save us a lot of headache, and we'll get some accurate timber put out now. All lumber for you guys in America. Uh, right. So let's get a log on the mill. The sun was trying to pierce through there, but it's gone back again. So let's get a log on. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this tree, this log, um, you know, whittled down. We've got two more eight by eights to do. So that's today's job. Right, guys, I'll set you up on a time lapse. I'm sorry, you aren't going to get much video today. I forgot to unload uh, the previous footage off. So <laughs> time lapse it is, guys.
Right, my lovely viewers. Uh, Laura has just called me, reminding me what time it was. I didn't have a Scooby Doo. I'm just getting the element here and just go with it. So it's time to go home, get some, uh, get some grub, get some tea on. Um, yeah, you see me. I, need to, I don't know. I need to get quicker at this. I mean, that log took me about an hour and twenty something minutes. So should be tech. Should be shouldn't be taking me that long. So I need to get a shed around this thing. It's a s a p. It's not working as it is now. Rain's coming in. I mean, I could still be working in the rain, you know. I don't mind moving the logs and everything in the rain. It's just you don't want to be milling in the rain. So I think that's going to be next. I've got I've got someone who wants to slow the fence boards as soon as possible, and then. Uh, I'll just have to get some get my own stuff milled down. Get um get some far befores ripped down. Easy peasy that. And um get some yeah, get some far befores. They're gonna be my uprights. I'll have to work out how many I want. Three. Get one, two. Oh yeah, I won't need many, I hope. I'm just gonna put concrete pads in the ground so they've got so they're not fixing straight to the floor, put some post post anchors on them. So yeah, that's the job. And that's what I need to get this I need to get it done as soon as possible. It's not fun. Someone asked me why I didn't put it in the other lean to and yeah it would have been a good idea but um that's also storage at the moment so we'll get it. But yeah. So when I come back when I come back to this hopefully tomorrow with weather being good, I'll show you you know what else I got done. Uh, where I at, it, you know people who are going to watch this, it's, it's going to be a little bit behind, but I'll do a bit of research in the meantime. But when I've cut when I've cut the boards, it's leaving like a feather feather finish on one edge. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, Google it or phone uh, or text Andy and say, you know, is it is it the blade that's it's wearing out? Is it the type of wood that I'm I'm milling? You know, so we'll find that one out. So right, too windy, raining. I'm a bit cold now because I've got my hands wet. So let's uh, let's wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.